Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to connect cylindrical objects into one and I will also show you how to change the center axis to move them like so I will start with a disk and I will change my shading to lines and wireframe then let's make the this segments 1 and the rotation segments to 8 now I will make it editable press C and I won't need this point I will select these edges press ctrl and extrude and one more time now I will enable my axis and turn on snap and I will move my axis here then turn off axis and snap then I will switch rotation mode press ctrl then rotate but also then press shift so it will snap now I will select them both right click and make them one object and also I want I won't need these edges so right click and melt switch polygon mode select all control A but before that let's flip these normals right click and reverse normals so no they have the same now I will switch the points mode select all and optimize switch back to polygon mode select all and extrude and turn on caps and let's make something like that then I will switch to edge mode and double click here then right click and bevel and I will make subdivision 2 something like that ok let's add some cuts right click loop cut here and here now I will switch to polygon mode and select these ones right click and extrude inner and same here okay let's put that into subdivision surface and we got we got some shading problems so just turn off the edge breaks and it looks perfect now let's move to the next part I will select these polygons right click and split select them all again right click and this time I will use mirror and I will change my mirror plane to X and C then I will press then realize the mouse then I will switch to points mode rectangle selection and make sure that on the select visible elements is turned off I will select these two right click and that okay let's select all right click and extrude and also I will go to mesh access center and execute now I will duplicate my second object 
and to rotate it 90 degrees. Let's move these ones like that. And also let's move them like that. Now I will create a bull object and put these two objects in that bull and change my type to union and check on these options. And I will add a loop cut so it will be easier to connect these points. Then I will just press C to make that bull editable. Looks cool. Let's add that into a subdivision surface. So as you can see, we have a problem here. So I will select here. And it says we have six points. And let's make sure that we didn't select another one. And right click, vert. Same here. Okay, now we need some loop cuts. But actually, let's make it different. I will select these edges, double click, right click, slide, then press Ctrl and move. And let's do the same thing here. Yeah, a lot better. Now I want to add another object. Let's make it 35 degrees. something like here and let's make it slow smaller but as you can see we have so so low density of polygons so we need we need uh, higher than that to do that i will enable subdivision surface but this is too much so i will decrease my subdivision editor to one this will be enough but also I will decrease my subdivision render to 1 so I can make that editable but I want these edges to be sharp so I will double click on them select the live selection go to subdivision surface and set the weight 100% so if i enable my subdivision surface they will be perfectly flat or sharp okay now i can make that object editable just press c and delete that weight tag okay let's put that another put that into another subdivision surface So it looks like that point is off. So I will switch to front view, enable axis and move it where it was. So now it will be perfectly smooth. Okay, now let's try to merge these two object, objects. Let's make it smaller. and something like that so most cases you will need eight segments so let's make it eight it should fit right here and let's move it to match the edges but before mer merging these two objects I will make some adjustments for that object 
I will right click select slides press ctrl and slide these points in the middle same here and maybe we can move that here and move them here okay now i will add bull object and put them inside it and i will make my bull to union them and turn on create single object and hide new edges now i will just press c then i will at these points so let's select these three right click and that's okay now i will right click select the line cut and connect these points Now I will fix these triangles. I will create a new path. Select these two edges, right click and solve. Same here. Make a cut. Select these ones and dissolve. No, I need to fix here. Right click, line cut and make a new, make a new path. Now we can remove this. Okay, let's move these polygons. But as you can see, the axis is not good to move. So I will go to my axis, move axis, go to modelic axis, and change your orient orientation to normal. Okay, something like that is okay. Then I will add some loop cuts. And I will put that object into a subdivision surface. We can use that. Okay, it looks very good, but I will double click on that edge loop, right click and dissolve. Then I will double click here, press Ctrl and move. That I will change my offset mode to fixed distance. And also let's solve that. And we can just delete that. We won't need that. And also, let's remove that one too. And I will delete that one too. Okay, now I will select these two objects and press Alt and G and enable my subdivision surface if I want to rotate that it will be perfectly fit the next object so if you want to rig that it will be easier and also we can put that under the disk and we can make something like that Also, let's make another object. I will select these polygons. Split. 
select all and mirror but let's change the mirror plane to z and y and select these ones but let's select them all and scale and extrude and also some loop cuts to hold these edges yeah, something like that so if you if i want to rotate that first object uh, the axis is not right so let's fix that i will solo it go to top view enable my axis and turn on snap and move my axis right here and i will also do it from the front view now i can rotate that also rotate that object too can add some details let's select these ones then i will grow my selection then just delete then i will double click on that loop scale press ctrl and move Press control, scale, and move. And I will add some loop cuts. Yes, something like that. Extrude in here. One more time. One more time. Move. And delete. Okay, guys, that was it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.